Good morning. In today's video, I'll be photographing the Malvern Hills and Great Malvern. a beautiful little robin there and there's no one around it's so peaceful that's one of the good thing about landscape photography it gets you out in the morning right today I'll be photographing on the North Hill but I'm not sure um, which way North Hill is so I think it's that way I'll just tell you a little bit about the plans for today um, I've come to North Hill on the Malvern Hills and I've, I've come here about 19, 20 times in the last few months and what I'm trying to do is get this lovely panorama of this is part of North Hill down here you've got the Great Malvern town just down the bottom there's this lovely rock down here and you've got the Worcestershire Beacon in the background so east is directly over there behind Great Malvern and I'm trying to get a nice photograph with the sun just coming up over the horizon, lighting up these foreground rocks and the beacon, and just trying to capture all of that in one long panorama. Um, probably 15 stitches, something like that. But every time I've come up here, the light has been absolutely miserable. Um, I don't know why we haven't had any sun. Um, I've been checking out the weather forecast. It's saying it's nice and sunny or there's no rain and it's been pretty miserable. So I haven't managed to get that photograph yet. And today um, I've kind of run out of time. I was, this video was going to be about um, perseverance and how to keep going back and eventually you'll get that photograph. But um, I needed to do a vlog for this week's um, submission so I thought I'd come out today and finish off this video and unfortunately the light isn't great we've got a massive bank of cloud over in the east I think these with some light on them will look absolutely stunning but as I say I've been up here 18 19 20 times to get this one photograph and <laughs> the light has been terrible uh, we're now in April so it's, I started last September um, and I think coming to summer we're going to get more chances of getting some nice light on here but it gets earlier and earlier and earlier and I'm not a morning person but if I do manage to get up and the sun is out I'm going to come here again try and get a great photograph and I'll do a different vlog on this one but we'll just make, make the most of, of what we got today. There's another local landscape photographer called Andrew Maguire, and he used to live in Malvern, he's now moved to Worcester, and he's taken a vlog here, and I've had a look and it's really good. Um, so he really likes these rocks as well, so he's taken 
numerous photographs around here. So I'll put a link to his vlog, um, either in the description or somewhere around here. So please have a look at those. His photos are really good and his vlogs are very inspiring and interesting. So if you haven't seen his videos before, please do take a look. I'll just talk you through the settings that I have on this camera. I've got F16 to try and get the depth of field from these rocks all the way back into Great Malvern. I've got ISO 100 to give the least amount of noise and grain in the photograph. And that leaves me with two seconds uh, in this light. Nothing's happening, uh, the clouds aren't moving, everything's still, so two seconds is fine. I've put a three-stop neutral density filter over the sky because I don't know if you can pick up on there. There's, there's a little bit of texture in that sky and if I can darken that down, it would be slightly more interesting than just a flat white sky. But the light, light is really boring, um, blue and flat at the moment. So this isn't gonna be one I'm gonna hang up on, on my wall, definitely. But as soon as I have a video scheduled for this, this week, if the sun hits these rocks, this photo is going to look absolutely superb. So east is pretty much over that way. Um, at the moment, the sun's rising slightly south of that, but as we go further on into the summer, it's going to be more over that way, which is really what I want. So I might come back in probably July time and the sun will be coming up from there, which will hit these rocks a lot better because they're facing slightly north. So unfortunately, this hasn't been the successful shot that I wanted, but I want to definitely come back a bit later on in the year. And I'll do another video um, showing you how perseverance does pay off and there will be some good light here. I'm pretty confident in thinking that that's not going to be a great photo, but uh, it's the best I'm going to get with these lighting conditions. Um, though I am determined I'm going to get a photograph today. I'm going to head down that way, um, the little valley, and I'm going to head down there and see if I can get a photograph of some trees. Because I think the light isn't going to come today. So that's the best opportunity I have today to try and get a photograph. So I'm determined I am going to get one today. But we'll see. A few weeks ago, um, it was snowing quite a bit on the Malvern, um, so we had a snow for like a day or two. And I came to this location, so there's a load of maples either side with a path going through them. And at the time, the snow was all white, the trees were very wet, so they're all black, and it made a, a monochromatic photo. It was, it was taken in colour, but there was just no colour at all. Uh, there's no light on it, it's very flat, like today, but it was, uh, I think that worked. But now we've got this, this muddy path, um, everything looks brown. So I just, I'm not going to take this photo. It does look good, I think, in the other photograph, but not today. So there's, there's lots of opportunities, but just not with the light we've got at the moment. So I'm going to keep looking around, see if I can find something else. If you're a fan of Ice Age, this is shit. <sighs> Last week, I was watching a video from um, Nigel Danson on creative photography. And what he was doing was intentional camera movement. So that's inspired me to take a few photographs here. Sid is up there and I'll just take a photograph of these lovely roots here um, beneath that tree. Um, and the camera moved, so I got a, quite a nice ethereal photograph. So. I've taken a few now. To take these photographs, I used ISO 100 to give the least amount of noise in the photograph. And because I want a long shutter speed, um, roughly between one and two seconds to give me enough movement and blur in the photograph, um, I used anything from F16 to F22. So I vary that a little bit to try and get longer or shorter exposures, depending on what, what sort of effect I'm after. I found this lovely tree here. The colours on it are amazing. These lovely green mosses look brilliant. But for some reason, it reminds me of my cat. Mm. So I hope I've got one or two 
creative photographs today. Uh, the light wasn't very good really for big vistas or anything like that. Um, and I didn't get the photograph that I really wanted today, but at least I wanted to show that perseverance <laughs> doesn't always pay off, but it will do it at some point. So I'll show you the photograph when I get it later on in the year. But even though I've come out, I've managed to get some photographs. Um, I've been inspired by Nigel Danton's video a few weeks ago. So I'll put a link to his video in at the end of this, this video, and I really do recommend having a look at that. Even if the weather's pretty miserable and you're not going to get a great vista, there are still some creative photographs you can get.